Hello everybody, Lathander here, just releasing a quick video to explain where the hell I've been for the last three and a half weeks and give a tip to anybody using a Logitech G-Series gaming peripheral. Now, I don't know if this happens with all Logitech gaming peripherals, however, I do know for a fact that it happened with my G510 and G13. Um, yeah, it's not fun. It's not a fun issue to have to deal with. The problem that I was experiencing is uh, the LCD screens on both the G510 and the G13, as well as the LED backlights on the G13, G510, and my mouse um, were flashing. They were blinking randomly, no pattern, no rhyme or reason to it. They were just blinking. All three peripherals were completely unresponsive as well, which makes using the computer rather difficult. I figured it was an issue either with the USB ports on the case, um, the uh, an issue with the motherboard or an issue with the power supply, and I have a warranty on all of the parts that I use to build my computer. So I took it and have it serviced. Uh, I'm not going to get into that since I got my computer back yesterday, three and a half weeks after I dropped it off. Not happy about that, but I'm um, not going to get into that. If you are experiencing the issue that I just described, uh, the solution is uninstall Logitech Gaming Software version 8.46 and um, roll yourself back to a previous version such as 8.40, which is what I'm using right now. To uninstall 8.46, you might need to load up in safe mode if you are experiencing the issue that I described previously. Um, I do also recommend rolling back to 8.40 if you are using a peripheral uh, G-Series gaming peripheral, even if you are not experiencing the issue, uh, because... It just came up completely randomly for no reason. I didn't upgrade. I've been using 8.46 since May. Um, yeah. So I do recommend rolling back to 8.40 just to re you know reduce the risk of it running into this issue. As for upcoming videos that I'm going to release, um, my next video is probably going to be Slender. Yeah. One of my buddies sent me a text message the other day saying, "Hey, I want you to play. I want you to play Fatal Frame." Then he sent me a text message saying, "Haha, I know you won't touch. I want. I know you won't go within a hundred feet of that game. So play Slender instead." What is it with you guys and my friends? And wanting me to play horror games. Because it's fun! <laughs> but I'm going to do it because it is actually kind of fun. Um, not so much the getting terrified part, but the being terrified part. <sighs> yeah, so my next video is probably going to be either League of Legends, with Slender coming soon after, or it's going to be slender uh, with a lot of me shitting my pants. Yeah. I've seen people play slender. I love to watch Markiplier. So I've seen people play slender and different versions of slender. I haven't played it for myself. And it's always worse when you're experiencing it firsthand. So I do not look forward to that. But you guys should look forward to that. Also... In just a minute, you'll be able to see a recording that I took of the issue that I was experiencing with my keyboard and gamepad and computer, so you can laugh at my plight. Jackasses. No. <laughs> um, I, I took the video so that I could show the guys at the shop. I figure, hey, um, it was kind of entertaining <laughs> um, from a bystanders uh, viewpoint and uh, it might prove useful for anybody who is experiencing a similar issue or the exact same issue to be able to identify the issue that they're experiencing not that it really should take too much to identify the issue since it is rather distinct that said thank you all for watching i hope this video was educational informative and look forward to my next video i will see you guys next time Lithander out. Alright, so I'm having a bit of a problem with my computer at the moment. I currently have only my Logitech G510 and my SteelSeries mouse connected to my computer. Uh, please excuse the mess. 
and the mouse is currently not being registered or recognized by the computer. The G510 is currently being re recognized by the computer and is working normally. The G13, the microphone, as well as the external hard drive are, and the webcam are all disconnected at the moment because I wasn't sure if um, the problem I was experiencing was due to having too many USB devices connected to the computer. Um, looking at the device manager currently, you can see that there is one unknown device currently connected to my computer. I'm not sure which uh, device it is. Um, it's, I, I'm actually at, at a complete loss. It's probably the mouse for all I know, but if we scroll through here, it shows that HID compliant mouse is working normally. There's no problem detected there. <clears throat> um, now, what I've noticed is if I click on the mouse uh, a couple of times, now you see the uh, device manager, human interface devices. I've now got two unrecognized devices after clicking the mouse. Um, I now no longer have a uh, an unrecognized device in the, in, in the USB um, section. My G510 uh, LCD screen is now flickering constantly and uh, is no longer, I'm pressing the um, Windows key, is no longer responsive at all. <clears throat> the mouse is likewise not responsive. The uh, device manager will continuously jump around as though it's installing device drivers when it's not actually, um, and it, this this doesn't change. If I were to connect my G13, the LCD screen would be doing the exact same thing as the keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the actual keys, uh, the backlights under the keys are also flickering. Um, every once in a while, the uh, LED under the mouse wheel here for the uh, mouse will flicker on and off. Um, and as you can see, the device manager is constantly uh, updating. It's it, it's constantly refreshing um, and nothing is changing. The keyboard is completely unresponsive. The mouse is completely unresponsive. Um, and I have done two full factory resets to the computer um, as well as I have, uh, well that's a little out of focus, but I've also taken it in to Memory Express once, had them connect a generic mouse and keyboard to it, and it worked. Now, when I brought it home, uh, likewise, when I connected everything, um, it worked. There were no problems. I installed all the drivers, did my Windows updates, installed uh, an antivirus program, um, and after that, uh, I re the, 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 the second time I had to restart the computer for the Windows updates, this is what happened. Uh, the LCD screen is actually, no, uh, it's still completely unresponsive. I just noticed that the LCD screen had stopped flickering, but there it goes again. Um, yeah, uh, I'm at a complete loss at this point because I've done two full factory resets of the, uh, of the computer. Changing USB ports makes absolutely no difference. Uh, and I, about the only thing I can think of that could be causing this problem is uh, a problem with the motherboard itself. Why is it going so badly out of, oh, it's focusing on the, uh, on the um, uh, pop filter. But um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on with my computer right now. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take it back to Memory Express and show them this video. Fun.